it's Friday, and that means time for us to get our butts back in gear and start building. So, what we're doing is continuing work on this uh, elevator shaft. What I've got done today, so far, is we've made the little box. You've seen the box before, but now we drilled out some holes to put the go cameras in. And Mary is doing some measurement on it right now to uh, make a little piece of foam. We're going to put a piece of foam like this inside the box so when we close it up the go cameras don't bounce around. So we're getting, that's basically going to be the little elevator car. So we're getting ready to uh, uh, put the car in and start making it go up and down the elevator shaft here because um, we haven't quite figured that part out yet and of course that's crucial to making this whole thing work. Like I said, we've never done it before, so we're working, trying to figure figure it all out. And um, all right, guys. So continuing on with uh, the elevator here, and uh, went in to put in the pulley up at the top there, and just realized that I put it in backwards. Damn it. So I've got to take the top off and put it back on because you'll see this side here has the opening for the cable to go through and this side does not. So I thought I was doing it the right way and I did it the wrong way so I gotta turn it around and put it on the other way. All right, I'll show you when I get to that next point. Alright guys, so here is the piece that I was had up on top of the roof. And what I did wrong was, see how this side here is a little farther away from this than this side here? I need to reverse that. Because I need to make sure that this right here, where this is coming down, is in the center of the elevator shaft right here on this side of the wheel. The wheel can't be centered because then our cable would come down on one side or the other and we want it to come down right in the middle so it hooks in the middle of the elevator so I need to make sure this is offset and then when it's offset it's got to have the cable go down it's gonna come up and it's gonna come over and then instead of running into this block right here it's supposed to run through that little window of area there and then hit a pulley now I probably could have just simplified the whole thing by making two of the sides like this but I got lazy and I only made one side like this. So the moral of the story is I should have done it like that because then it wouldn't have mattered. But now I've got to basically take this off here and replace this with this and flip this whole thing around. So that's what I'm about to do and then hopefully we'll, bit it, we'll get it right. All right, more soon. All right, so there, now I fixed it. I turned that around. So now the short side is on this side here so it's offset this way, so when the cable comes through this opening, right there, it'll come through there, it'll come up over the top of the pulley, and then it'll come down, and that hopefully will be in the middle of the elevator shaft. We will find out soon enough when I remount it into the board here. It's going to go like this, and then remount the board. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so that's the way... It's supposed to look, see? So that when the elevator is in the middle there, see how that cable? See this piece of pipe right here? That signifies the middle of the elevator shaft. So hopefully it will come down pretty much right on that. And uh, that did it. So yeah, just like, you know, all day long just to do that right there. <laughs> to get it, to get the measurement right and everything. Uh, okay. So we're moving right along here. Mary is taking some of those uh, lights, the battery operated LED lights, and she's laying them down inside here to give it a really cool, some kind of a look. So she's working on that. And looks like we've got a couple of nicks in here. Not sure what happened, but we'll have to fill those and repaint those. But we're trying to get this thing done We've got uh, we got a long ways to go for the haunt this year, so this is important that we get this elevator shaft done, and hopefully it works. 
Otherwise, you know, what the hell are we thinking? All right, guys. We'll get back to you when we get some more progress. Hey, guys. All right, so I'm on the little step stool here, and we're at the very tippy top. We got our wheel mounted up here, so I'm getting ready to run our cable. We got some of this braided cable here, decorative trim from Hobby Lobby, and uh, it kind of looks like cable. You can see that. So I'm going to run this through this pulley because I'm going to mount this pulley on the side. That way it doesn't try to grab onto this and we can have a nice flow if we end up doing it by hand. So I'm just going to stick this through here and just get this all the way around up through here. And then we're going to just stick this through here and let me get up on the top up here. That little wheel right there is going to like look really cool when it's shooting up this way. And uh, Mary found that in the, um, the uh, what was it, the clearance section of Hobby Lobby, right? Yep. So, I've kind of already marked out where I think it should go. So I'm going to put a lag screw in right there. And then when it's nice and s solid... You'll see that that move, and that's with no weight on it, guys. So when there's weight on it, it'll definitely move that wheel. All right, that's a working. I'm getting excited. Now it's hopefully the elevator hangs in the right spot. <laughs> That's gonna be the next thing. And look at this guys. Can you see that? Mary put some lights in there. Do -do 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 -do. All the way down. And we're gonna have, that ain't gonna be the only light. That's just ambient light. I'm actually gonna put some dark lights in the top and shoot them down. Cause you're gonna need some serious light in there um, to light it up. Otherwise, cause when we put the front the front's over here. We put that on to make it like, like the elevator doors. It's going to get dark. It's going to get dark because it's going to be pitch black inside this thing. So the only thing that will be lighting, up, lighting it up is the dark light. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough. We don't know. This is all experimental. So wish us luck. All right. Got some screw eyes that we've attached to here. And then we're going to run probably some fishing line here up like this and this to this screw eye. Now we tried this before and I was able to pull it off with just a little bit of a tug. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if it's gonna pull off this time. So we'll let that cool down and then we're gonna tug on it again and see if that's gonna be good enough. And of course yeah we'll rust that out. We won't leave that all shiny like that guys. No. Nope. Once we know if it's going to work or not. All right, more soon. All right, so plan B. <laughs> we tried to put these wheels on the sides here, and the problem is, is that the way that this is shortened here, it actually runs into the side, and it goes down, no problem. But when you try to go back up with it, and part of our plan is to have it go up, it pinches, and it doesn't work very well. So... Plan B is that we put the wheels on the back here, we space them out evenly against the railroad track that's on the back here, and we've actually kind of got it so it's riding on the rail track. And uh, it's kind of hit or miss right now because we've got all the go, we got the two go cameras in here, so the weight is not being distributed properly. We're going to have to figure that out, but I mean, it's very well could work. If we can figure out the weight, get the weight to distribute property, and then uh, maybe put something, Mary's thinking, maybe we can put some kind of sticks. Guides. Guides that will come off the side here and go into here that won't have rollers on them and hopefully won't get hung up. But, I mean, that's the whole idea right there, guys. If we can just get that car to run smoothly up and down. And then 
once we put the front of it on there, you know, once we get it running up and down smooth, and we're not having to keep doing this, because that sucks. If you take the cameras out, it actually runs up and down pretty smooth, almost all the way down. So the cameras, you know, that they have to be in there. There's no choice. So we've got to figure this out. This is the kind of thing I was worried about, was how we were going to do this. So um, if we don't figure it out, maybe we'll post this and maybe somebody will come up with a better idea than what we've come up with here. But that's where we're at so far. All right, we'll keep working on it. All right, so here is a little of the detail that we're adding to this elevator shaft. This is a crazy project, guys. <laughs> um, but these are some little uh, electrical boxes that I made. I kind of thought, well, you know, what would be in an elevator shaft? So I don't know if these would really be in there. I looked at a lot of pictures of elevator shafts, and I saw all kinds of things that look like big electrical boxes. So that's what these are supposed to be. Just took some little pieces of wood and put some rub and buff on them. Got a little um, pictures from the internet that just stuck on there that look like little signs. And then some uh, some pipe, um, not pipe, just these little pieces of kind of like little tubing that I got from Hobby Lobby. Rub and buff these up so they look like they're old and stuff. And, uh, sorry guys, and then, you know, put these little signs on there. And then I bent a little piece and then uh, dipped it to give it that little red handle. If you guys can see the little red handle there. Each one's got like a little red handle. That's this stuff here, this Rust-Oleum Flexi Dip. Just sprayed some in a Dixie cup, and then we just sat there and dipped it two or three times, you know, and uh, got that effect. But, you know, this will be like, uh, kind of go up there. You know, it'll be like in here like this, and we'll stick it in there. It won't do anything. It'll just, when you, when you go by in the elevator, you'll see that, maybe. So that's kind of what the idea. But, uh, yeah, we got the wheel and stuff. I think I showed that to you guys earlier, but just in case I didn't, there it is. Got that in place. So it's coming along. Of course, the front piece is not on here right now. And this is the elevator car. The first plan was to put the thing, the little wheels here on the side right here. And those didn't work because they were going to go in these little notches, these little grooves right here. And they work going up, or down, excuse me, but they didn't work going back up, it binded. So we have the railroad track, so we decided just to put it on the railroad track on these center ones and roll it down, but because of the weight of the go camera um, inside and everything, it's just not distributed right because we got a go camera on the side and we got a go camera on the top. So if some of you are, are still questioning what it is that we're actually doing, the Go cameras will be in sync, and one will be shooting the top. So you will see, you know, like that shot as it's going down, if this gives you like a little simulation. So imagine as you're going down, and you're looking up at the ceiling, and you're seeing that, and you'll be, it'll be inside the elevator shaft. And then the side of it, you'll see, let me put this car down here, you'll see something like this, guys. You'll see something like this. Uh, I mean, that's kind of the plan. Hopefully, it's going to work this way. And yeah, I could probably just do what I'm doing right now and not even build this little elevator, but that's part of the challenge of the whole thing. Because <laughs> I want to put one camera up at the top of the elevator car and one on the side so you get that side shot going down, you know, so you'll have like your little, little box here like this. There we go. Go by and... There's a little box, you know. See that? You get the idea. I'm going to have to edit the hell out of this thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of where we're at with this, guys. So, thanks for sticking with us on this one. Um, if you guys got any suggestions of anything that you could see that we could do better, um, you know, let us know. Because we're going to go to a Plan C. Plan C is going to be, we're going to put something on the bottom of this box that's going to span across, it's going to be like a paint stick, like a paint stick, and it's going to span across and go up the groove and hopefully keep it steady and keep it from rocking this way. And we'll cut it short enough so that it just sits in the groove and goes up. We're going to sandwich it between two little clamps that we're going to screw on the bottom of here. And I tried to drill those out tonight, but I think I'm getting tired. 
I, I screwed them up, so I'm going to have to do them again. So that's where we're at. So uh, I'm going to go and um, put all this together into a video and post it. And um, then we'll uh, see what happens from there. Let you guys comment on it. Tell us what you think. And uh, we appreciate all the subscribers. And hopefully we're going to get this thing and show you something really cool really soon.